People keep asking me how much my Maverick costs. The problem is, I have no idea. All right, so in our Maverick walk around, there are a few comments asking about how much this actually costs. And I haven't really calculated that up until this point. So let's run through how much this all costs, including wheels, tires, the tent, the whole nine. So let's get into it. So this is my 2022 Ford Maverick Lariat thread, and it's got all of the bells and whistles. It's got a sunroof, it's got bed liner, a bed mat, it's got a P&O sound system, it's got LED headlights, everything driver assist short of being self-driving. All right, so right off the bat, the uh, base $20,000 Maverick was no longer a base $20,000 Maverick. So since everything was super expensive, I kind of went the budget route with some of the aftermarket parts. All right, so let's get into some of the essentials. Um, so that's like wheels, tire suspension. Um, what you might notice right away is that there are KMC bullies wrapped with Firestone Destination XTs. So these are 17 inch wheels and they're wrapped with 245, 70, 17 tires. All right, to pair with the wheels and tires, I decided to uh, increase the ride height since the stock ride height is super low. So I threw on a one and a half inch ready lift kit. And to kind of pair with that, I threw on an SES kit, which helps with sag and squat when I'm towing my teardrop camper. Um, so I don't really get any sag anymore. And it really helps even with the uh, rooftop tent as well. While we're on the topic of a rooftop tent, this is a CVT Mount Fielsen two-person tent. It's a, it's a great like fold-out hard shell, and that is mounted on an Extrusion Overland 11-inch rack. So it's really modular. You can bolt anything to it, which is what I did here. So we have a couple of Rotopacks, gas and fuel, and these are only one gallon. We have a Pelican case, that's my first aid, and then we have a quick-release fire extinguisher attachment. In addition to that, what I did is I wanted to have a bunch of space that was like pretty dust free and waterproof. So I added this back revolver tonneau cover and this is an aluminum roll up tonneau cover and that works really well with the extrusion rack. There are actually like brackets that they included that pair perfectly with the tonneau cover. All right, additionally, we have um, some, what I like to call like overlanding essentials. So we have a, a shovel and a ax. And then lastly on this extrusion rack is we have a couple of chase lights, but we also have some rock lights that I put under here that help with bed lighting. So some of the bed lighting that was an option that's in this, I wasn't super happy with, so I created my own bed lighting. The only other lights on this rig are up front, so we can walk there. And the lighting up front would be these ditch lights and then these little raptor lights, just for fun. All right, so last thing on the rack are these Max Tracks and Max Tracks mounts. So I went with like a Prinzu style mount, um, but I had to drill those out. So it's a Prinzu mount, but with different holes along with these Max Tracks pins. And then I think to finish it out, we have this rigged ultra swing with a fold out table. So that's like a really great option for if you need more like counter space when you're camping so that the table folds out and the rig holds my spare tire which no longer fits underneath. And one last thing, I forgot to mention that we have a Trigger 4 Plus wireless switch system for our lighting. So that'll work with the chase lights in the back and the ditch lights up front and it's wireless so there's no running wires through your firewall of your brand new truck. All right, so that's it with the kind of build list of this truck. And I wanted to briefly talk about you know, why I did what I did, why I go economical with a lot of the mods when it's a $40,000 truck? Well, the first thing being, it is my only vehicle. So it's a daily, it does what I want it to do. I can go camping and like kind of light off-roading in the weekends. I'm like very much a weekend warrior in that sense. So I wanted it to be both economical um, in terms of like gas, but I also wanted it to be very comfortable. So that's why I like leather interior, kind of all the drive functions because it is something that like I see and touch and feel in my everyday life. Being my daily, like those things are important to me. And it kind of does exactly what I want it to do. Like it's very drivable in the city, but if I want to go run fins and things or run the Alpine loop, like no questions asked, it'll do it. And it's very comfortable doing so and very comfortable getting like to and from other states, other parts of the state 
like it's a very easy to drive vehicle. Um, so with that being said, let's get into the price breakdown of all these components that I've listed. All right, so admittedly, I had to look some of this stuff up because it's been so long. So I'm gonna pull out my phone and read these off to you. So the vehicle sticker was right around $40,000. And that's with um, like tax, title, licensing fees, everything. And kind of taken out of that initial price, uh, I sold the, the stock wheels and tires. I sold some of the accessories that came with it. Like it came with like a Thule rack and stuff. So I actually made $2,000 back in just selling like OEM parts that I didn't necessarily need. So let's get into the wheels and tires. Um, five KMC bullies were $1,175. And the tires that wrapped around those um, were the Firestone XTs at $1,185. The uh, ready lift and the install cost total was $600. Uh, the Timber and SES kit is a little under $300, so we'll just call it $300. And then the extrusion rack, uh, as configured, so this is the 11 inch height um, with a couple like other crossbars and stuff, was $1,200 at the time. Um, to go with that, the tonneau cover, which is the back revolver, was also $1,200. And then to go on top of the rack and actually make it usable, the uh, CVT Mount Fielsen was $1,500, uh, kind of a scratch and dent sort of thing that they had going on. The rigged Ultra Swing is a Megafit model, and that was $2,100 with the table on it. Um, so that I think is the uh, most expensive item on this list. The chase lighting, ditch lighting, and Additional bed lighting, um, including the Raptor lighting, actually, $200 total. The KC lights were the most expensive, and the, and the Chase and the Ditch lights, I think, were, I think they're like $7 a piece. Paired with the lighting, of course, you have to have a switch controller, so that was the Trigger 4 Plus, which was $250, and it came with a bunch of pigtails, so I didn't have to, to buy additional wiring for that, which was really nice. The Rotopax and the Rotopax mounts, so those are one gallons, and I think they're just like standard Rotopax mounts. Came out to $200. The, uh, the Pelican 1170 little first aid kit was $60. The quick release fire extinguisher was $40. And then some of the overlanding essentials, so like shovel, axe, that sort of stuff, air down, air up tools, were $100. And then the the Max Tracks and the mounts. So those were the, the like Frenzu mounts and the little Max Track pins uh, was $350. And that completes our price breakdown coming to a total of $48,460. Um, so, so quite a lot for a $40,000 truck. All right, so that kind of finalizes our price breakdown. Um, if you want to build a Maverick identical to this, that's how much it would cost. Thanks so much for watching, signing off.